So this sweet eats videos. Um, I guess this product is a bit like what I did in the beginning of January 2024, where I had that bag of assorted Lindor truffles, and so I ended up just doing the lint Lindor truffles for a bunch of days. So we got a bunch of these Ghirardelli chocolate squares. So I'm, I'm 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 mixing it up, and I'm doing three today. So I'll do links in the video description to when I did one when I did two, and when I did four. So I'm filling it in. If it's bingo, this is the last square, or yeah, the last spot. If it's a four thing, bingo, this is the last one I need to get my bingo. So three of these. And so here we go. I was thinking about going to a University of Washington alumni game, soccer game, men's, but I was like trying, rocking my brain. So alumni I was like, did I hear about this when I attended the University of Washington because I played for the rugby team? It's like, it's an alumni game, meaning it's alumni versus the current University of Washington team. And I think alumni means alumni of the team, not alumni of University of Washington. Is well, it's it's like it's like a Venn diagram, right? The entire but with only one circle. So like essentially, there's the entire pool of everything. So that's the rectangle. That's all University of Washington alumni, and then there's a circle that's University of Washington men's soccer team alumni. This is the circle. So essentially, it's like the circle, um, which means it's not always held because depending on how many alumni there are that are still active and or in shape to play, they might not host the game. So it's not um, the date is set for this coming Saturday. So I'm filming this Thursday, 21 March 2024, and the game is set for per the online schedule for Saturday, 23 March 2024, but there's still no date or not date, sorry, time. There's no time for it yet. And so from what I can recall, like it's a, it only happens if they have enough alumni of the men's soccer team, if I'm recalling correctly. Because otherwise, you know, the University of Washington is a rather large school. I, I would venture a guess there's enough people that, uh, have soccer experience that they'd be like, we'll play against the current team. <laughs> okay. Couldn't think of like the proof of it being the men's University of Washington men's soccer team alumni being the alumni. And the proof is in the game not being held. And they don't have enough people. But they have other soccer games. I'm not too late to go to one at Husky Soccer Stadium. The other place I could go if I wanted to try and figure it out is Shoreline Stadium, where I've done walking and talking on this YouTube channel, Tanis Leonardi. I'm Tanis Leonardi. She her hers of Seattle. Um, I'm filming this in the northern Seattle suburbs, Washington State, United States of America, Planet the original, King County currently. So Seattle, King County, Washington State, United States, America, Planet Earth, the original. And the outdoor high school track and field season has begun. And I competed for Shorewood High School. And Shorewood High School actually has a meet today at Shoreland Stadium and next Thursday. And it goes to like districts level is in May. So it's it's started, but I still have some there's still some meets left, but they're not all held at Shoreline Stadium. I think the West Coast champs are at Edmonds Woodway, which is possibly closer than Shoreline Stadium, but they're both really close. I think, if I'm remembering where Edmonds Woodway High School is correctly. So we'll see. In-person sports competition videos, sports competition footage might be doable. I'm hesitant about filming children. However, I feel like if I were to bracket it, high school, uh, public high school track competition, some of those people might actually be legally adults competing anyway. Um, but I was like, how would I don't commercialize? Possibly don't zoom in, like don't put emphasis on my, um, show myself, right, show that I'm, you know, rules of thumb. If 
if I were to go and try filming, like there a bunch of people post videos of youth competitions and junior competitions and stuff like that. So it can be done, but I'm like thinking of myself of like, if it is allowed, what are my standards? So people don't like misinterpret the meaning of the video kind of thing. Reduce the risk of that happening. I'm finding with eating a lot of these, it's a good running school for me. It's kind of fun doing that, substituting something on my diet I don't normally eat, in part for these videos. I get to learn about, wow, I ran. I walked ran, you know, a minute faster today. And it's partially due to these squares. I, I've gotten much better at telling when the fuel source change corresponds to a faster time. So this is one. Reese's products is another one. Dried mango. Those are three that immediately come to mind. And sometimes it's just like a small thing. Anyway, we do a 44 out of 10. They're still good. Uh, happy day and time of viewing to you whenever you're doing this, and happy place of viewing or other viewing. Stuff.